Welcome back to the Code Circus. Today we are going to talk about something that's kind of unique to Python. It's um, a command that allows you to format strings and gives you some functionality in order to do things like include variables, change the number of decimals something has, do calculations, and it's called fString. So let's dive in and I'm going to show you how this works. So we have our message, hello world, we've done this before, but let's change this up a little bit. Suppose I did something called my age, create a new variable here, and I'll put in my actual age. Hmm, could be a bonus question later. And I want to have a string here um, and assign this to a print statement. So I'm going to do print. And instead of doing print with just quotation marks, I'm going to put an F in front of it. And this is the beginning of what's called an F string. And I'm going to put my rest of my string in here. And now I'm going to put these curly brackets. And inside the curly brackets, I'm going to put the variable that I created called my age. Now the F tells Python that it should look at the rest of the string and look for those curly brackets. And anytime it sees the curly brackets, it should evaluate what's in the curly brackets as a command. So when I run this, it says my age is 49. Some of the other things you can do with f string is we could do some calculations. The result of 3 plus 4 is, and I'm going to do my curly brackets, and then do 3 plus 4, curly brackets, go. Single quotes to end it, parentheses to close the print. And get rid of this. We don't need this anymore. And run it. And it says the result of 3 plus 4 is 7. So this is kind of powerful. It's a little different than um, some other programming languages have. They don't necessarily have this ability built in. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can do with f string. You can replace fields like, like we did here and use it in combination with things called arrays or lists. We can do conversions. We can format numbers. So we're going to be looking at this as we move forward. But it's just kind of a little introduction to um, some string manipulations that you wouldn't necessarily normally see or be used to in any other language that you may have looked at. <clears throat> so, real short video. That's all I have for you today. I will see you next time.